Yo what is up guys welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be learning you how to play Mario Odyssey on the Yuzu emulator. So Yuzu is a Nintendo Switch emulator and I know there's also Ryu Jinx or something but as far as I know Yuzu has better performance. So for the first step you want to go to their website I'll leave this link down below in the description and then you click on download then at the bottom you see download for Windows X64. So you gotta have a 64-bit Windows. For other options you can view the package listing. Okay, so you download Yuzu, my Google Chrome is a bit glitch. Uh, it will say Yuzu install uh, .exe and you click on it and it's gonna show up as this. Okay, so it says select which packages you want to install. Uh, you can click both of them, you don't have to choose, but for now I'm just gonna choose Canary because most of you will probably use this version, so you click install and it will start downloading. And you can find the applications in your start menu for Windows 10, it's right here as well. So I'm gonna click on Yuzu Canary and it will say the following are missing from your configuration that may hinder key derivation. It will be attempted but may not complete. And then it will ask you if you want to share your data and I'm gonna say yes so they can like figure stuff out and make a better product. Now for the game, other people won't give you the game but I have it right here. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to the game as well. And for the keys, you want to go to add data and you type it by, well, typing this and it will show up. So you click the folder, then you have local, local low and roaming. Okay, so the place you want to go to is in roaming, Yuzu, and just minimize this tab for a second. You want to select game directory, then I'm gonna go for desktop, and then we're gonna go to configure, and just follow as I do. I'm gonna choose dark mode because I like dark mode. Okay, so search subdirectories for games, keep this enabled, and web, debug, and games list. You just keep this as it is, basically. I like it how it is. Then in system, you can choose your birthday. I, I, I don't know why not. So yeah, you could put this on stereo if you want. I haven't tried it yet, so we'll have to see. Now profiles, you can make your own profile, multiple profiles. So if multiple people are on the PC, they can have different saves. Give myself a profile name and you can also set an image so there you go now for audio you want to disable audio stretching because it's super annoying and keep this on auto i put my volume at around 80 percent because otherwise it's just too loud now for graphics just keep this limited to 100 percent use disk shader cache don't enable this i don't know what this is let me look this up Okay, so I, I mean, we can try with and without this. Keep it on native or window size. Now controls, you want to choose custom and then configure and use docked mode. Now player one is going to be a pro controller. Enable the touch screen. Configure, I'm using an Xbox controller. So yeah, let me do this real quick. And for the joysticks, you just click set analog stick. And then after pressing OK, you move your joystick left or right. Does doesn't matter which one and then up or down doesn't matter so first horizontally then vertically so I'm gonna go left and up and then it will set those same for the right stick shoulder buttons press them long enough until it says 5 plus and 2 plus and if it says minus you gotta try again and hold the trigger longer then click OK and click OK again so now I'm gonna click OK and it will search my subdirectories and you will see a 0x000 that's the Mario Odyssey and the reason why it's not showing up is because we don't have the keys if I try to launch this it will say while attempting to load the wrong request an error occurred and it's because the NCA header key could not be found now channels as BSOD they don't give you the keys as I'm not a big channel yet I can give you the keys as well, link down below. So for the keys, I have this txt file. So you go back to your app data roaming yuzu folder, go into keys, you move the keys.txt into here and you gotta have file name extensions enabled for this because otherwise you can't see the txt. Now you change the name to prod.keys, you click enter. Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. Then if we try to launch it again, the game will launch as you can. Peace. Drive hard. Drive Mustang.